customer by the name of Frank Van Chee in here. He brought us his 2018 Ram 5.7 liter, but two-wheel drive. So my expectation is we're going to make a bit more power when we're all done here because the two-wheel drive is going to drag a little bit less power down. And he's got normal size tires. So. So, we kicked it off by making three good baseline passes. All three of them were different, but pretty much along the same power line. And the second one was the best. We see that a lot. The engine's a little bit cooler. It warms up a little bit. And then as soon as it starts to get any heat under the hood at all, we start to lose power. So, first pass we did, 293 foot-pounds of torque and 274 horsepower. We'll go to the next one, which was the best one that he did for baseline. Keep in mind, we're always talking about horsepower to the wheels. So the next one, we jump up a little over 300 foot-pounds, 277 horsepower. So it pretty much mirrors the first one as far as the way the curve goes. And then we get a bit of heat under the hood, we start losing power. So this was the best of what it had when it came in. just want to show you how much the heat affects it, just kind of sitting there. We had... Um, Fans blowing on it. We've got nice cold air. We've got pretty much a perfect day where it's only um, it's only 50 degrees Fahrenheit in here. So now the curve starts to kind of come up, and then it really falls over, and then it starts to take off at the end, right where you want your pickup truck to work good, 3,900 RPM, where you can get really good fuel mileage. So one of the things that we're going to do here is what we typically do. We're going to take this green line, which is your torque bring it up a lot sooner, make a lot more torque, and we're going to let Wally kind of work his way through the fuel curve right now. That's your torque, which it was kind of, you could hear it, right? And then look at your torque. Oh, it just, it just nails higher. Frank Benchy came in with his 2018 Ram two-wheel drive, and I'm going to show you the results. So he came in with a very flat curve, um, 300 foot-pounds of torque, and when you listen to it, it sounded very lazy. When we came to our final tune pass, it's no longer lazy. You want to watch the green line. So, <laughs> the green line now goes straight up. You'd swear we'd put a turbo in here. <laughs> so the green line now goes straight up. We come across, we hold the torque right to the very end. The horsepower is um, following the torque curve, of course, and the, the entire um, truck is much, much nicer now to, uh, to run down and run through the power curve. Now let's have a look at the two of those overlay. Here's the torque curve when it came in. Not only does it start out here and then get lazy, but it actually drops away and then it swoops back up and it starts to make power again somewhere around 4,000 RPM. Now we make power immediately. The second you even get on the fuel anywhere at 2,000 RPM, it starts to make power and it comes up and it holds the power all the way from 3,200 over to um, 4,400 and it still never really falls off right to um, 5,300 RPM. So truck's running good. Uh, most guys aren't going to run their truck out here that often. In here is where you're interested and that's where we like to have it come on. Good working truck and a, a, a really great fun day for uh, our staff, International Dyno, and right. Frank with his 2018 Ram 1500.